Huh. Okay. <laughs> okay. Just turn away from that. <laughs> It doesn't look like there's anything else. I was gonna say, is that a catfish? It's a catfish! Equipped with sensitive barbels, these large scavenger this large scavenger can detect morsels hidden in mud. That's what those little tentacles are called on, they're called barbels. Viperfish loves ya. I can't really look at it right now. Barble. Oh, I broke my fucking light. Shit. Oh, I have more brain cells than barbels, though. Hopefully. A netting fish? Shut up. Why are you guys so mean to me? What did I ever do? Yo, oh god, no, 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 no. No, I lost one of my catfish. Mm. You just, everything okay? You've just been standing there for a while. You need to have a rest. I can't believe they broke my light. Ever heard of catfish noodling? Unfortunately, I have, yes. I am unfortunately aware of one one noodles of cat girls. Oh. Oh, I need fishmonger side. Oh. Why is this itch not really annoying? Like, I was trying to just ignore it, and it's just not... You've done it! What have you done? Tell me, Big Bean, what did you do? Oh, you've done noodling! Did you catch a catfish? Did you manage to catch the catfish? Did you catch the noodle? Yep. Oh, neat. 60%. Okay. Hmm. I feel like this is going to be a pain in the ass place to be. Let's go check this island first. guys conspiring about. It's like when you get that itch on your back and you reach over to scratch it and it moves a little bit further away. You guys ever that happen and it moves ever so slightly further out of your reach so you have to move to get it and it just kind of migrates? It's doing that shit. I hate that. It's doing that. It's just... Um. Okay. Sergeant fish. Oh, shit. I was hoping for a lieutenant fish. Sometimes called the snook, this drab fish feeds on anything smaller than itself, including juveniles of its own species. <gasps> cannibalism! I specifically requested no cannibalism. What, what? You just hire a designated back scratcher? Oh man. Oh man. If only. A gray mullet. Please don't let your friends have mullets, chat. Plain fish, often found in sandy or muddy areas, one of the few surviving species. One of the few species who can survive in brackish water.
not cantaloupe. It just said that they eat their own young. Entwined mullet, twisting, twitching tendrils sprout from the gill plates of this little fish. They heave in unison, moving the fish against its will. I feel like we're, we're because we've got all these fishing upgrades now, like all these book upgrades, we're able to like have a lot of times where we don't deplete it, so we're getting a lot more off of a single fishing spot. Why doesn't it like all chats mullet? Why would you want a mullet chat? This isn't the 80s. They're not cool. They weren't cool then, but they're not cool now. I don't care how much party in the back you got. New portrait headed figure. Deep violet robes mask their face completely. The person appears to predict the rest of what they were about to say. The other figure reveals the scroll. They just show pictures shown at the top. It's a tarpon. A tarpon. Yeah, it's Cabal. Don't talk about other streamers. It's fucked up. Alright, so figure in purple. Tarpon. I'm oh, sorry, tarpon. But the Tiger King had a mullet, and he seems like a pretty nice guy. Mullet scroll coolness the more they're in the same room. If, oh my god, that reminds me that there's actually, like, a mullet off. Like, a competition for having mullets. For children. Those poor children. I'll say children, but not the British children. Mullets are not making a comeback. Don't distract me with dumb things. <laughs> Anyone who has a mullet is a loser. What? Oh. Chat, don't have a mullet. Oh god damn it! Bastard. It had sparkles? It did have sparkles. I don't have an inner mullet, just outer pants. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna be. It did have sparkles. It was bait. Someone is going to draw you with a mullet. I will stab. I will commit a felony if someone draws me with a mullet. What? I was born with a mullet? God damn it, so I was born a loser. That explains so much! Motherfucker. I hate it here. Did here? Yeah, that look on your face. Too long in the open water, eh? Yeah, you start to feel a little mad after a while. Let me get sleep like this. Muletu. Just catching all the mullets? Apparently, my mother tells me that I was born with one. Anything else you want to say to them to embarrass me while we're here? <laughs> she says that's good enough for today. Your hair was long enough for the ba as a baby for a mini ponytail. What was the first time I used a cuss word? Give us pizza. Yeah, I know. I was an acceptance of how I'm a burnout. You were crawling by six months and walking by nine months. Uh-huh. Mm. What? Are you still diseased? Are you still diseased? And, uh, full sentences, probably by the time you got 18 months, maybe younger. Like, I apparently spoke a lot. I apparently talked a lot when I was a child. We just have to say, can we take a break? We can talk so much. But anyway, 
you were probably about 16 months old. And the stairs we had, the first three stairs going up. Was this really before or after I was dropped on a flight of stairs? Way before. Okay. Which I didn't do that. I know. I, I've, I've never said you did it. I'm just saying. So, this, so I was smart back then. So the first three steps, there wasn't a rail. Shut up, right? Bro. So the baby gate had to be on step number three. I guess the first two steps. So you would go up those first two steps and hold on to the baby gate and drop the toys off the edge. That sounds like an obnoxious thing I would do. And when, when you drop yeah, the toys off the edge, you would watch it hit the ground and you would go, Oh, shit! <laughs> <laughs> and then you'd pick your toy up, crawl back up the two steps, drop it over and go, Oh, shit! <laughs> that sounds like something I would do. <sighs> and that's why I realized that you so much. <laughs> yeah, right. Yes, it's, it's the mom. Are we done with embarrassing stories? All right, we're done for today with embarrassing stories. I'm gonna make that the redeem next time, the $100 one. Get an embarrassing story from my childhood from my mother for $100 redos. No, $100. $100. If you want more embarrassing stories, $100. I don't think it would have. <laughs> so, so my mother, mother. So I have a quote bot, right? A quote bot where where things I've said can be quoted. And Royal, who's one of the mods, has added ad quote. Oh shit, baby Hanetta is circa 1988. I hate it here. I hate you. Did that ever stop? <gasps> I no one is having young pictures of me. No. Hi, Peter. I'm killing all of you and then myself. Quote number 1124. So here's what we're going to do. Yeet! We're going to litter first of all. <laughs> Fun fact, sextants are still used in the navies as an emergency backup instrument. So finding one in a shipwreck is not that unreasonable. I mean, I would imagine... Uh, I would imagine even the most advanced nuclear submarine has a sextant and a compass on it for emergencies if, you know, in the event of a disaster. Yes, death steppies. Like, you... In, in an, an, a setting where you're in the ocean, you would want to have an analog one that's in a, you know, for an emergency, like if you lose power or something. I thought sex tents were used for camping. No, 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 that's a, that's a different kind. Okay, so let's go to this little fishy looking, I, no, we started up there. Didn't we? Yeah, we did that already. So we gotta go into the mangroves. God, this little boat is so fucking fast now. I was like, why is it going so slow? I caught a trophy mullet. We caught a trophy mullet, chat. Think offing me, then yourself will free you. You're a bigger fool than I thought. Uh, when camping, couldn't get your sex tent up. Hi, Sabzi. Gleaming mullet. My favorite kind. Scales swollen into large, clustering, clustered pustules. A golden liquid shimmers from within. Gross. Huh? Oh, okay. Sapsi's probably just now waking up, given what time it is. Okay, so we're gonna do a quick, a quick looky-loo around the outside of the island.
I hope you guys enjoy that you got free deep Hanedu lore. I hope you appreciate the deep lore. Samsi's magical and always watching. Yeah. You're waiting for the aberration of the sergeant fish to be another rank? That'd be hilarious. Maybe I should have a butt. Should I have a butt? Would that be weird? <laughs> you always want more? You greedy bastards. Rods real fish 15% more effectively. Oh, hell yeah. I told you, I wanted to be a lieutenant fish. A slow swirl twists its body, stretching it towards an unseen dimension. Hold on a sec, guys. I, this is this is why I hate I hate it when people yell at me from other rooms. We just made six hundred and one dollar dues. Hmm. Hold on a second, guys. Okay. Yeah, that fish was definitely not having a good time. Okay, so we went to, like, we literally got, like, nowhere. Let's wait. I'd rather do this, like, explore the first time during the day. Poor fish. Yeah, he is definitely having a bad day. This place is super fucking foggy. Oh, it's a gar. God damn it. Trying to have a good time. It's 10 in the morning and I'm already paranoid as fuck. Oh, not more push ups. Hmm. What a bad spot for a break. It's right, right there. Alright, let's see. An exceptionally strong and slender fish. Strong scales stretch down the length of its body. Someone's trying to get brownie points. Alright, let me do these quick ones. You know, the shit smells like shit and it's not the fishes when you was last time you took a shower? Shut up! Explosives in the um I think I'm gonna put the explosives away in my storage because I feel like I'm not gonna need to use them at all. They've just been kind of vibing and I haven't needed them for anything since. Man, 
This place makes me super fucking paranoid. Alright, so we'll just go this way. Like, it has really poor visibility. I'm so upset about it. I am so upset about that. Literally, literally just put the explosives away and I need them for the first time in like six hours. I'm upset. Got him. You know your fucking place, trash. Sabzi, how did you sleep last night? Did you sleep well? So fucking mad. I've been carrying this thing around for hours and haven't needed it. Alright, boom. Tree go boom. Goliath Tigerfish. Oh, this is one of the ones. Fearsomely predatory, this gigantic fish is also one of the most aggressive. Its teeth are so large that they punch holes through the opposing jaw. That kind of sucks. An emerald ring. A gold ring clasping a rich emerald. 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 Emerald Lagasse. A long, thin eel. A long eel with delicate fins spends the day coiled around the roots of the mango cheese and emerges at night to hunt. Bit of, bit of fish Tetris there. I had to play a little bit of fish Tetris there. Violence it is? Yes, robot violence. Always violence. Shack cats choose violence. Got those rare mm. fish. Found the Goliath oh. tiger fish. It's great news. I'll add it to my records. Here, take this. I'm sure you'll find some use for it. Four fish and coelacanths. Research. I want to have this really fast engine. You can choose violins, but I don't know how you would play them with paws. Doom theme. Pee much. How does a cat play a violin with paws? Explain that, science. Checkmate. Check and mate. Poorly. <laughs> uh, yes. Indeed. Fucking multi track drift my way into these things.
How are you playing with beans on the way? <laughs> Fuck you. I hate it here. So I'm going to continue exploring the outside of this island. I've had enough mullets for right now. Oh, tarpon. Okay, we need one of these. A powerful fish capable of bursts of energy, well suited to dashing into the mangrove roots to take cover. We need to take one of these to our purple buddy. Take one of them to our purple buddy. That's just more mullets. What did I say about not wanting more mullets? You guys want like 80 Senedu who's like standing around in a white beater holding a beer with a mullet? Is that what you guys are after? No. Uh, I found Chakat limits. You don't want me in a wife beater standing around with a beer. Got it. I have found where you're no longer comfortable. No, 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 like we're, we're talking full redneck, beer belly and everything. A fucking, a fucking, uh, like, um, a whatchamacallit, like a, ra a NASCAR fucking uh, hat on and everything. Hi, soul. Thank you for lurking, hon. Oh, God. He gonna bop me. He gonna bop me. Where was the, uh, where was the man in purple? Where was the dude in purple? Do you guys remember? Do you guys remember where he was? Neto and a white beater, you want to see that? Mm. Hi. Oh, I was like, where are my tarpons? Beep, 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 South of the main. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Thank you. That was that was kind of funny. I'm not gonna lie. Mm. That was very funny. I really like the south of the main background. Okay, so this island probably. And this water looks so nasty. But I guess that's all the silt, right? Thank you for doing the shout out. You guys should go follow Luna Soul. She's one of my model siblings. She's very sweet. She deserves your support. Ah, yes, the man in purple. Oh, 
hooded figure reveals a scroll. A gesture to a picture shown at the top. It's a tar pot. They hold the fish in front of their face, studying it with a tightening grip. After a few seconds, the fish collapses in on itself under the pressure. The figure looks through the gory mess and picks up the heart, placing it onto the tongue. They show you another scroll. This one shows a horseshoe crab. <gasps> you can't eat a horseshoe crab! They're my little buddies! Horseshoe crabs are my little buddies. I love horseshoe crabs. Okay, so we've done a full circle around. They are the best little guys. They have blue blood, and they sometimes get flipped upside down, and they're really, like, weird-looking underneath. And you just kind of kind of go over and flip them over, because they're they're just little guys, okay? They're just little bo They're little buddies. They're having a rough day upside down, and it's hard to flip themselves back over, okay? If you had a giant shell for a back, you would have trouble flipping yourself over, too. They also have blue blood and imp important in pharmaceuticals. I need more explosives. Oh god! Man with one arm. A large man is watching you through the billowing smoke of a campfire, idly carving away at a wooden stake. He stands as you pull ashore. Stranger. From the look on your face, I'd say you've encountered a look of wretches. Take a seat. You joined him by the fire. Now I've been trying to rid them from this accursed jungle ever since the re we wrecked here. The boys call them mind suckers, on account of them well affecting the mind. They made us see things, do things. I'd ask you for safe passage away from here, but not until I've avenged my squad. <sighs> They're also endangered and mandatory for vaccine creation. Yes. They save lives and give blood. Give blood, chat. Yes. I love horseshoe crabs. And I want to protect them. A number of us went down in the fog, crashing into trees or ditching into the water. Those that survived rallied here under the boughs of this giant tree. But it offered us scant protection. Before we could arrive, our numbers were dwindled, picked off by the fiends in the forest. I met a few would-be rescuers over the years, but none would help me in my fight. Are you any different to the rest? I can help. I figured you'd be up for it. You... you have the look. Listen up. First... We need to find the lost piece of my squadron's mortar. Then we'll use it to bombard the beasts. Other planes went down in the north and east of where they are now. I'll mark possible crash sites on your map. You go and see what you can salvage. Hmm? Okay. How will you honor your squadron? Mm. I've hung a few of their dog tags up on the tree behind me. Seems to fit in there. But I've only got tags for the ones I... You must understand, I never found all the bodies. If you happen to find any of their dog tags, I could be added. I could add them to the tree mm. with their brothers. I have a number of mechanical doodads that you might find useful. Here, take this one. In good faith. I'll give you more for each tag you bring. Any other, any shipwrecks around here? <sighs> shipwrecks? No. Anything that meets its end here is quickly solved by the silk. What about the mine centers? Devilish creatures thrown through. They'll stalk you through the waterways and emerge suddenly screeching their terrible song. The first time it happened to me, I saw it. Shadows of my squad mates, reaching out to me in a feverish dream. When I finally snapped out of it, I was covered in blood, bloodied scratches. It must have sent me running through the foliage. Foliage. Since then, I've done my best to avoid the beings. Their senses seem to be based on movement, so move here. Hmm? Okay. Alright, uh, I found some dog tags. Let me see. Hi. Hmm. Thank you. I'll hang them on the tree. Here. As promised. Cool. Alright, I guess we can do some research then, eh? Nice. Twin jet engine complete. Engine stack. Plus 67 knots. <clears throat> A hulking mass of an engine. Boasting considerable speed. Alright. Okay, 
so I need to go and find more explosivos. Say that was very nice of them to uh, just move out of the way. This is a mortar barrel, a long barrel with an attached sight. That's not how mortars work, is it? Oh, scrap! We need scrap. scrap did we need? We need a, we needed like five or six pieces left, I think. I think that's it. It's like five or six pieces. We'll find out. We'll find out. I feel kind of like it's weird that we're we're basically almost done with the boat upgrades. Okay, so we've got this. We're still missing one, two, three, four quests, I guess. Find the frame, return the barrel. Mm. I don't have any of those. Four and two. Okay, so we need to... Awesome. Okay, so we just need three more pieces of scrap metal and then the boat is fucking donezo. Yeah. That'll give us extra engine space. Right, okay. Okay, I would like to have the, the best engine, honestly. Good night. Sabzi, will you be ready in, a in like an hour or two, or whenever I finish this? I don't know how to finish this today. I'm actually taking a little bit longer than I expected, but I am, I guess I am being very thorough, now that I think about it. Ugh. For sure. Doom reference incoming. Oh, shit. ravenous hatred she found no peace, and with boiling blood she scoured the Twitter planes seeking vengeance against the persons who didn't call her cat girl. She wore the crown of the shakaks, and those that tasted the pain of her claws named H. <laughs> named her Hanessa. I like it. I like it. Had a receipt. Goldsmith and Son. Number 27, Little Marrow. December 22nd, 1926. Received the sum of 50, 50 dollars and zero, zero cents in exchange for one, one silver necklace with emeralds on silver mounting. Additional notes. Received with further three dollars for custom engraving on reverse of mounting. Customer to return tomorrow, 23rd December, for collection. Engraving is to be as follows. For J, my shining star. Aww. No. I feel like you would go to hell just to have some type of excitement while you rage moded. Maybe. Shadow only did $20. $20, he does. Two hot sauces. No, you only get one at a time. Ha! Get nerded. You only get one, but I will do it. Hold on. Scales given way to bubbling flesh, a surface dweller singled out and cleansed by the sun. You only get one. Fucking nerd. Now, if you had done two ten dollar redos, you would get two. Now, once again, I'm not looking at the wrappers on these ones. Blister. Your new situation. All right, let's. I have a scoop. Ship. I'm not looking at the wrapper. 
I'm just gonna just gonna do a little bit of this. Oh, that's a bit more than a drop. All right, here goes nothing. Mm -mm. I don't go one bit. Are, the rules are it's price is right rules but kind of reversed so if you do if you do five dollars you get the five dollar one if you do ten dollars you get the ten dollar one but not the five dollar one if you do eleven dollars you get the ten dollar one if you do twenty four dollars you get the ten dollar one if you do twenty five you get the twenty five dollar one but not the ten and the five I apologize for uh not having that better explained beforehand. I've mentioned a couple of times, but that was like on day one. So, easy to forget. However, thank you for the dollar use. That one wasn't too bad after a little for the hot sauce. Maybe I'll forget and do another one in 10 minutes and because I feel bad. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see how I'm feeling. You were working on day one? I'm sorry. I, I do apologize. I don't mean to basically steal from you. But uh, who knows? Maybe, maybe my cat brain, my single brain cell will work in your favor. Ow, uh, bonked. Mortar frame. Metallic base and frame of a portable mortar. Only slightly rusted. I'm sorry, honey. I don't like the idea of feeling like I've stolen from you. Oh, hey, yeah, research books. We need what three more metal scraps and then we're done with scraps entirely i think i think that might be the final scrap to count This place is confusing, which I think is intentional. I'm pretty sure it was designed that way on purpose. Yep, yep, yep. Alright, let's go turn this in. This dude. Airman. How are things going? Alright, that's the lot. Now, while I work on assembling the mortar, you can get started on the next phase of the You may have noticed some contraptions out in the lagoon around here. I've assembled those traps for the mine suckers, which need to lure them in there. Once they're in, you see, I can fire them with our new mortar, and that'll be the end of them. I'll mark the locations of the traps on your map. Got it. How do we get the mine suckers in the trap? They're attracted to a very specific type of types of bait. Your skills come in handy here yet again. Have you got everything? Uh, is it safe? <laughs> of course not. Have you got everything? Uh, how did you make the traps? <laughs> With patience. The creatures only seemed to sense movement. So when everyone was close, I froze. Have you got everything? Uh, yeah, let's go. 
You need to make three special baits from different combinations of fish. Three fish from the area to make. I don't know about the fish with that video. Come back when you got the rest. Okay. Two fish from the area to make. Shit. Third one. Two of the eels. Okay. Okay. So I need a bunch of the... So I know I need two of the eels. Let's go empty our box, our, our, our package, our everything first. We need an empty cargo hold for this. And then we'll see about the traps. This is pretty cool, actually. This part of the game is actually a bit too difficult if you have a boat that is too fast, very easy to bonk yourself against the mangroves or sandbars. Yeah. Get uh. rid of all these. Floating dock. Boom. Boat fully upgraded. 100%. Hundo percento. Research all engines. Nice. Oh. Okay, so let's see. Engines. So this one is three by two, which means I'm gonna have to rearrange everything. So Have a combined engine speed of 75 knots. This is what peak boat looks like, exactly. Alright, I'll come back and buy... I don't like it is that it's not symmetrical. I hate that. I would rather have one less spot, and if they were these three, this three by three, literally 100% of the time. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Oh, I feel so fast. All right, this is not the kind of fish we need. We need the mullets. Excuse me while I go kill someone at work because they woke you up for the stupidest reason. Please don't commit murder. Or at least don't admit to it, so that we can have a uh, legal liability of den plausible deniability. I need three mullets? I think so. Yum. I don't know what happened to my coworker. They just suddenly disappeared. We'll never know. I guess we'll never know. Damn, I'm a speedy little boat. I'm just, I'm just a little guy. I'm just a quick little guy. Feels like years since I have been warm. I did not expect him to write. I just need to know that he thinks of me from time to time. The next few lines have been smudged out. He must return. He must return. More angry smudging follows. I have written him another letter. This will be the last one. Mushrooms. Mushrooms. I love mushrooms. I think they're very cute. I 
hate it. I hate it, chat. Hi, Doug Dot. How you doing? Deja vu. I've just been in this place before. Higher on the street. And I know it's my time to go. I see what you mean about bonking into things. Right, let's talk about baiting traps. I am a master baiter. That should do. I'll just mix these in here. Load this into a trap. Then we'll get. Then get well clear from it. When the trap springs, I'll fire upon it with a mortar. Make sure you bring back proof. Oh, sorry. Make sure you bring back proof. That thing's really dead. You hear? Foul smelling mixture of fish and something else. The airman says it should attract the beasts and the twisted strand. I should be careful. Okay, what about the second bait? Okay, and then I need, I guess, the catfish. And then third bait is two eels. Okay, so third bait is two eels. So I need a catfish and two eels. They woke you up to ask me where this extra 1606 came from. Like, one day you morons on... One you morons on shift two, three days ago accepted money from two different countries, and it's been sitting here for three damn days. Ah, uh, employees. Aren't they the best? Oh, see, now I have to click for it. I hate this game. I do, I don't, I like this one. You return with dinner, hell yeah. Get that dinner. Under the water, so I'll stick with this one. Load the. You sh probably should move away. Oh, it's gonna pop. Oh. Oh. Ah. Yo! That's pretty cool. That was pretty sick. Not gonna NGL. I mean, I don't know if cruel is the right word. It is a brain-sucking monster that feeds on your madness. Chicken sandwiches with mac and cheese. Hell yeah. Need the proof it's dead. Ah, oh, shit. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. Absolutely right. Inside is the obliterated corpse of the mind sucker. The airman will be expecting proof of your success. Chunk of flesh. The rest of the carcass sinks out of sight. Pale and bloodied slab, its smell is acrid and metallic. That was pretty sick, I'm not gonna lie. Hell yeah, can you have some? Yeah, did you bring enough for the whole stream, Mithril? How are things going? I have a creature corpse to show you. <laughs> Let's see. You hand the tattered lump of flesh to the airman. It's almost unrecognizable, but you both know it couldn't have belonged to anything else. He pokes at it with his knife, testing the rubbery meat. He seems satisfied. <laughs> yes. This is one of the beasts. 
progress lasts. More to go though. Let's talk about baits. Let's bait for the second one. That should do it. Let's mix these in. Load this into a trap and okay, we'll get well clear of that. Alright, same as before. Fetid bait. Reeking bait. Okay. When the monster was trapped, the mortar fire was exemplary. Pinpoint accuracy. Yes, yes, he did a very good job. Okay, so we need to go. Oof. Times like this, I crave a mini map. Times like this, I crave a minimap. Mother, I crave violence and minimaps. Load the bait into the trap. He's the uh, yours to calculate the trajectories? Yeah. He knows exactly where to aim, because, I mean, he set the traps up. But that is pretty brutal, like, it catching it in place, dropping it down so it can't escape, and then he fucking nukes it from orbit. Like, that's pretty sick. Alright. So now we need to go all the way over there. Oh, those count as an obstacle. Got it. They bonked me. Son of a bitch. Your boat is clocking at 96.6 knots. That is an equivalent to 179 kilometers per hour or 111 miles per hour. Ludicrous speeds. I suddenly feel very unsafe. To describe the sandwich, just toasted hamburger buns with bang bang sauce spread, tangy barbecue Doritos for crunch, air fried chicken patties, Mexican blend shredded cheese, and provolone. Oh, you only sleep for four hours. I'm sorry, Shadow Raker. Calculate the effect on the curvature and rotation of the Earth, the density of the humidity of the air. I mean, oh, here's a corpse. All right. He drops the flesh onto the ground and he gives it a few slashes with his knife. And with his knife, it wobbles a little. Another one taken care of. One remains by my count. Let's finish this. I imagine that whatever I do here with this guy's quest is going to give me the tools that I need to get, um, to get the, the ring or whatever I need for the dude, for the collector. Get wrecked, my guy. All right, get fucked on, buddy. Sucks to suck. So if I take four part, four more things of damage because I'm not paying attention or whatever, does that mean I sink? 
Like, is that a game over? Alright. Shouldn't hmm. corpse. Let's see it. You drop it. You drop the large blooded carcass in front of the airman. His eyes full of sadistic delight. He bends down and plunges his knife into the soft flesh. It falls away before the blade, revealing a glint of metal. With a sickening tear, he rests it from where it was embedded in the flesh of the creature. He holds it aloft. You recognize it as a necklace, glistening in gore. <laughs> well, fisherman, some fortunate last. You sought to fetch a decent price from the right collector. Here, why don't you take it? Shimmering necklace. A large and ornate necklace. Ivory teardrops flank the, se the central setting. An emerald trapped by four cresting waves. He stands back from the corpse. Corpse. A melancholic look comes over his face. And now, well, that's it, I suppose. Hmm? What will you do now? Hmm. I can't say for sure. I thought I'd be asking you for an escort away from this place, but this has become somewhat of a home to me. It doesn't feel right to leave my brothers here. I think I shall stay a while longer. In the meantime, I can make up some special bait for you. It ought to help you fishing. Okay, hmm. bait? Here, this is left over after. From the other bait. Oh. Bait ability unlocked. Toss bait overboard to attract local species. Cool. <laughs> Need some fish from me first. Any type will do, but the more you pay me, the more bait I can make. Oh, okay. Here. Hmm. That'll be a moment. This is what I can make. Take it all. It won't keep well here. Will this stuff go bad? I'm, a I'm asking for backseating. Will this? Will the bait go bad? They go for that crazy, for that stuff. Great day, night. Doesn't seem bad at all. All sorts of fish usually show up. Thank you, sir. He's, he's gonna be like, all right, we finished this, and then I just, like, pop out of existence. Zero HP will send that. All right, cool. The bait will not go bad. That's what I thought, but I wasn't sure. All right, sir, I come bringing you a necklace. You enter the house carrying the ornate necklace. The collector recognizes it almost immediately. Ah, an excellent find. It demands pride of place in my collection. The chains relinquish the necklace. He sweeps aside some scraps on a dusty table, candle wax pooling in its corners. He places the necklace carefully in the clearing. And I suppose you'll be demanding recompense as well. Once more, he opens the book, dust pouring from the pages as he reads aloud. You begin to feel weak, but you're rooted in this. You're rooted to the spot, knees on the verge of buckling. A billion locked atrophy instantly harvests an entire shoal of fish. As he finishes speaking, you feel blood rushing back to your legs. A strange feeling of power grows in your chest. We're. So close. One more remains. I loathe to suggest it, but the abyssal plane on the approach to Devil's Spine is like is a likely candidate. See what you can find. Oh, Mulk, mark a location on your map where you can begin your search. Anything else? Are you human? Your inquiry met is met with a piercing gaze. Why, of course, as human as you are. I'm not. I'm a capital, though. What do they do to me? The book holds power of the deep, yada yada yada, a atrophy. This phrase instantly culls the closest shoal of fish, readying them for swift reaping. It can be heard from a great distance, so you need not be close to your victims. But the population is unlikely to recover from such a bile trauma. Use it sparingly. Hmm. How do you know where these rel relics are? I largely don't, but I've read the seas. Read the seas. I see the swells that give shape to the formless. I hear the waves that whisper secrets to their witnesses. And I speak to the currents that hold a memory of all that they claim. Anything else? All right, last one. All right, so we have we have a fully sh uh, what a little, 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 little ship. We have bait if we need it. Could you could you kindly go fuck yourself, Mister Scary? Fa oh God. Zero HP instant hand scrap. Exactly. Uh. Alright, cool, cool, 
Pou, pou, pou. Ma'am, could you uh, give me another one of these? Thank you. Ah. Oh man, our ship is gonna be super fucking quick. Ship doesn't have a speed control, just on and off. The kinda, I mean, you can kinda drift a little bit and, and you can almost control it, but not quite. 52, 67. These are worth nine, so that's 52, 45, 60. 50, is it 52? Okay, so that's, that's, okay, that's much better. All right, All right well, we're, we're almost, we're like, damn. We have, like, a perfect setup, too. <laughs> we really can just, like, we need to do more research, and other than that, we're all set. to this island first. No. Yeah, that island first. Hundred and twenty two miles. I am the speed. I do have crab pots to collect. You're right, you right, you right. Let's see if we got anything good in the crab pods. If there's nothing good in them, I'm not gonna give a shit. doing the thing again. Okay, it's not doing the thing again. So yeah, let's let's head over the other faster. So I don't need to worry about scrap anymore. Which is very nice. Because damn we're quick. Peter, what? What? Oh man, I wonder how fast we go when we use this. When we use haste. Anybody know how fast we'll go with haste? Fish market. It's all blue crab. <sighs> I feel like buying all this chum might have actually been a bad idea. Because it's just taking up inventory space, and I don't even know if I need to use it. I want to 
fight over this money. They need to check paperwork from Tuesday. It's not gonna... You got extra cash money. Shut the fuck up and take it. It would be worse if you were short money. People fight about the dumbest shit. People will fight about the dumbest shit. Okay, so we've made it all the way back over here. Stone hung piling. His hand on the stone does not respond. God, there's so many of the big angler fuckers around lately. Like, I don't know why there's so many of them. You're the worst. Why did I ever give you that? I gave you a toy and you've used it to do nothing but torment me. Why did I think it was a good idea to give you something nice? I want you to know that I'm smiling as I say that, you little bitches. Nipple and mom, leave me alone. Miles is F1 championship power boat levels of speed. The kind of overdesigned boats that if they turn too hard they disintegrate. <laughs> hey, fuck them boats. <sighs> I am now 115 knots. So I'm not that quite I'm not quite that fast. I do be pretty speedy, though. Thank you for following Miss Ulrika. Welcome in. How are you doing today? I hope you're having a good day. So we're gonna go to this island way the fuck over here. Funny thing is, the person that contacted he was the assistant store manager in his woman. Uh, okay. 132 miles per hour. I have literally never driven that fast in my life. That sounds terrifying. Some tuna now. Oh, there's like a, a thingy over there. Hold on. You've been close to driving that fast? That sounds very scary. It's not bad depending on the tip of the car. I imagine if you were doing it like on a straightaway in a like on a racetrack style, you know? Where like you don't have to worry about, you know, sliding off and dying, it would be okay. Snake mackerel! <gasps> Slender with dull black eyes and a long snout, a greedy jaw full of long, sharp teeth. We need to give that to the, the dude, the guy, the the blue hooded guy. I'll be back for you later. Alright, where was the blue hooded guy? Hey, could you guys fuck off? Mr. Mr. Ghostly Dudes, can you can you not visit? Snake mackerel. Snackerel! I 
That's a big shark thing back there that I'm not gonna deal with. Where was the island this dude was on? Was it was it this one? Was it this one or was it was it this one? Where where was this guy? Was he here? I think he was there. We got to 129. Jesus. Speed running life. Oh no. Maybe it, maybe it was this island. I'm speed running away from all of these giant monster fish that want to eat my anus. I prefer my anus uneaten by giant fish, given the option. Anyway, how are you doing today? I hope you're doing well. You point to a fish on the scroll. Here you go, have a snack roll. The fish has barely left your hands before the splintered nails begin peeling out of the scales. The heart is extracted and devoured. Their head tilts upward to look at you. They take a book from inside the building and throw it. They cross their arms and appear to fall into a deep sleep. Alright, he got the nappies. He taking a nap. Haggling and bartering a guide. Eels do that. Not a pleasant way to go. Oh no. Time to eat uwu. So I have a feeling, because someone mentioned that getting the bad ending takes a lot of work. And I'm beginning to think that I might be doing the bad ending by feeding these cultist robed guys a bunch of different kinds of fish. The mayor appears in front of you on the dock. His face swims before your eyes, and his words blur with the waves crashing around you. R. Okay. If. C. Fog. Shapes. Rest. Careful. Nightmares. You stumble past him into town. Don't let yourself too, get worn, too worn down. We need you well rested to provide for this town. No. Okay. Yeah. This game is basically fishing game. Yeah, it's a totally normal fishing game. Totally normal fishing game. Nothing weird, nothing strange. It's just fishing. It's just fishing. You you go out and you fish. You go out and you fish. And then you come back and you, you, you know, occasionally you help some people, but mostly you're just fishing. Mostly you're just fishing. You're just fishing. Fishing, fishing, fishing. Just doing, doing a little bit of fishing. As you do. As you fishy fish. Today, surviving specimens of the Spanish world of women from an excellent grade of exceptional rarity of the private Cool. The average price of US $4,000. That trader guy is totally with me. Right? A rat tail. Found at great depths, these are the most abundant of all deep sea fish. They gather in large numbers around the structures in the deep. They're Haydol, which means they do be deep fishies. They do be the fishies of the deep. Ah, that was my ankle popping. Right, Hello? Hello? You undock, you undock next to an old robo. Somebody is here. He's hunched over by the campfire muttering to himself. He talks oh. Did you... Did you throw it back? What? The book! I think you're mistaking me for someone else. Ooh. I'm not seeing things as really you, isn't it? Who do you think I am? He turns away, wringing his hands. He speaks to the fire. It was him. Him and his damned wife. They dredged up that old book, but something... Something cloaked in fog. Followed it out. Right through the boat. Boom! The man makes screwed explosion noises. His emotions with his, wide with his hands. Still talking to the fire, as if pantomiming a story to a child. It spoke. It said it was coming for our breath. We wouldn't be needing it soon. And then darkness crashed down. An age later, someone was washed up on the shore, and him? 
still clutching that book. Throw it back. I cried as the fog rolled ashore. We thought, surely, I can still be undone. What the book? Silver and crimson. The book. Covered in her blood. You're not making any sense. Throw it back. The man closes his eyes tight as he holds back tears. His voice falls in whispers. Please. The lighthouse keeper. She saw. She knows where it came from. Where it... Where it needs to go. Tell me more about this book. Silver and crimson, silver and crimson. He rocks back and forth staring at the flames. What do you know about the fog? It cloaks the calamitous thing. It, it's evil. Haven't you felt it? What does the lighthouse keeper have to do with this? She saw it all. That ruined stay. <sighs> Ask her, beg her, tell her, I... He trails off, his face collapsing in sorrow. Okay! I always hate when people do that, where they, like, give something expensive or rare, and they just hand it off to someone who absolutely fucking screws them out of money, and it's like, well, I didn't really care because I wanted to be rid of it. Like, you would have just sold it. On, like, fucking eBay and made more money, instead of taking it to some asshole who's going to give you fucking pennies for it. Like, there was, there was somebody, I don't remember who, I don't remember which streamer it was that had done this, but she had taken, like, a bunch of stuff to, uh, like, a comic book store, basically, to return it, to, or to sell it, and she ended up getting, like, $100 for the stuff, or even less, and it was stuff that was worth, like, 1000 But she just wanted to be rid of it, which is so f fucking stupid. Hmm. I'm coming for your breath is the most cryptic, yes, badass way of saying you're... You're gonna kill someone I've heard for a while, right? Okay. Uh... Ah. Interesting. You can sell bait now. I'm pretty much just buying researches at this point because, like, that's the only thing I really need. <clears throat> Pop. Complex. Let's sell some of these crab pots that I don't think I need anymore. Can I not sell these? Interesting. Oh, I buy that from the Fisher side. That's why. Oh. That's why. got in here? What do we got in here? No whammy, no whammy, no whammy. A goblet. Okay. We'll take those. Um, so let's see. We, we found the charred pontoon. Ricky pontoon, the starlight pontoon, the dusty pontoon. What did I mark here for? What did I mark here for? Oh, I marked here because that was the island I wanted to go to. So we still need to do stuff for this guy. That's That was just a crab. So it looks like at one point there was like a big city here. But it all fell to ruin. I oh, need explosives. Oh, you fuck off, you little fish bitch. You fuck off. Jerk ass, motherfucker. Uh. Here, you know what we should do? I'm about to sell the original Satanic Bible on Craigslist. Jump. Shark. 
Considered by many to be a living fossil, though technically a shark, it swims like an eel, hunting prey with 300 needle-like teeth. Oh, interesting. Oh god, what's this fucking weird looking guy? Armored Sea Robin, a small fish with angular armored plates. It has sensory barbs under its body that help it det detect prey on the seabed. Use mixed bait to attract three species in a single spot. A pale skate, one of the deepest living species of skate, though it uses thought to use thermal vents as incubators for its egg cases. A cusk eel, a miserable looking eel often found hiding in cracks and crevices. Why would they put me in this game? Twisted shark. Three tails that twist and turn, three unite behind the head, thrice the body that must be fed. Okay. How much did you pay to get featured in game? I didn't. They fucking used my likeness without asking. I can't believe that they would do this. Though I, I do like the ability to just be like, ah, fuck it, I'm just gonna chum this bitch. Kind of sad that it's just like giving me the same this time, but that's okay. Easy money. Easy money, chat. You had an interesting day at work? Tell us that. Real question, she gets does she gets royalties every time that fish gets picked? Caught? No. Cheap ass motherfuckers. They don't even pay me. Put your hand like ass calmly. We don't talk about no Jolene written bullshit here, that transphobic bitch. My darling, I have found you at last. When you left, I was scattered to the winds, but now I feel almost whole again. There's just one thing left to do. Throw me back. Hey, Ronan. Hope the fishing is going well and no problems with ever. No, 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 it's just normal fishing. Just an ow. Whoa, god damn it. What did you do, Ronan? We were having a nice fishing day until you said so Until you said something. And now there's a bunch of assholes about. Just ignoring them. How you doing, Ronan? How you doing? So I have team A and team B of players and teachers. Team A decides oh that we have done enough bad things. Both our fault and not our fault. Gives us a 12-hour workday for next Tuesday. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna have to reread that because I couldn't hear it over the sound of this motherfucker trying to murder my face. Hmm. Okay, now, what were you we saying? <gasps> Did I lose the thing overboard? God damn it, I just fished that up too. You have read the Necronomicon? So I have an 18 main TV with pairs of teachers. Team A decides that we have done enough bad things, both our fault and not our fault, gives us a 12 hour workday for Tuesday, next Tuesday. Set the bait. Makes fish appear anywhere. You can use ability to grab the fish to farm. Yes. 
That sounds like horseshit. Also, it looks like we lost the thing that we had just picked up, which makes me a little upset. Oh. That sucks, dude. I am very sorry. It sounds like you're getting fucked on. I think the worst part is like at this point I don't really need to do much fishing unless I need a very specific kind of fish because I kind of just like have all of the money. <laughs> Team B came in today and asked us about what we did to earn the. So let's look at the regulations of legality. Twelve hour workday for weekend homework. I th squat lobster covered it. Covered in tiny bristles and spines, this creature is thought to be blind. They process, process toxins spewed from hydrothermal vents. Spider crab, a freakishly huge crab from the depths. I like how they're like intertwined like this. Like that's just kind of cool. Well, I didn't mean to do that, but I guess we're here. Trophy ghost shark. You'll love to see it. God damn it, I'm bad at this. Oh, hey, we got the rapid shark. A grinning maw turned upwards to the sky. Wing like fins, ready to take flight. Snake mackerel. We were listening to an English dude talking about how he fishes. He visits private lakes, ready stocked with fish, uses the radio controlled floating sonar drones, automatic baked sweaters, and just sits in the shore while electronic rods tell him when fish is biting. It was weird, like cheating. That's that's very weird. It's very weird. That's like why why fish? That sounds like a guy who just wants to get drunk on the lake. That's just a guy who wants to get drunk on the lake, but not just get drunk on the lake, so he's fishing, if you know what I mean. Not fishing, more like farming. Like I said, he just wants to get drunk on the lake, so he's fishing. Airports. Yes, Tinker. A man meets you on the as you dock, bracing himself against the wind and spray. Oh, rapturous day! A fresh disciple carried to me atop the waves. Come ashore, weak thing, and rest your weary soul. I'm just passing through. Nonsense! Your arrival is providence from the deep itself. I have been calling, and now you are the answer. The right to purification is almost at hand, and you are to be my replacement. Uh, okay. Your trial begins immediately. Tell me, what did your spirit seek? Stop. Ha! Merely an excuse to halt the search for something greater. Happiness is, by definition, a compromise. And your flesh? What does it crave? The sting of the salt. Pain is a trick of the flesh. Do not surrender to it. Finally, what does the world deserve? Everything. <sighs> In a way, it deserves all of this washed ashore, freely given from the deep, but no more than that. The trial is concluded. You still have much to learn, but that knowledge will be delivered to you in time. Now, your role as my initiate is to act as the Herald of the Purge, just as I was for the one before me. The nearby spire bla spires blaze with eternal fire, yet the stone hearths of these three idols lie barren and void. Retrieve three fathomless flames from the crags beneath us and ignite the crucibles. Visit the shrines of the deep. I will mark them. They will offer further guidance, and I must provide no more. Which statues do you want to look at? The left one. Statue holds a stone crucible. It's empty. Right, leaf. 
stone columns of the temple are carved with ancient pictures and text. Which carvings do you want to look at? The swarm of small creatures. The carving shows a swarm of small fish surrounding a boat. The ravenous children. Alone, they are nothing. Together, they summon her. Beneath these words, someone has added a crudely scratched note. Do not let them grip you. Burn them away. Okay. The carving of a large fish with crossed out eyes. The unseeing mother. When the starving cannot eat, she approaches. Beneath these words, somebody has added a crudely scratched note. Blind but can hear her children. Avoid at all costs. The bubbling vent. The carving stone show, shows the carving shows a bubbling underwater vent. The breath of salvation. It burns those that mean harm. Only the pure remain. Beneath those words, somebody has added protection. Follow the magma. Find them. You have a story that just happened? Tell us about it while I do an episode cut. 